Um, well, you stay in great shape. <laughs> There's no opportunity for you to really get out of shape. And I mean, you go, you transition right from volleyball into track. Um, Kirk makes us take two weeks off, which I think is the smartest thing in the entire world. My freshman year, I was kind of fighting with him, like, no, I, I just, I want to start right away. Um, but I think halfway through the season, I realized that, yeah, I did need those two weeks just to kind of mentally and physically recuperate. Um, but I think, especially related to the college aspect, it just definitely kept me on track. Um, I didn't have a lot of time to procrastinate with schoolwork, or I didn't have a lot of time to just kind of lay around and be lazy, which is important to relax and rejuvenate, but at the same time, I'm so much of a doer that if I don't do something, I just get bored. Um, <laughs> which is actually, I don't know what I'm going to do next year when I don't have um, two sports to keep me busy. But um, I just, I really enjoyed always being on my toes and there was always something new and you're always working towards something and to have those goals in mind for sports and I guess even for academics as well, it was really, really important to me to just keep going. Um, as a freshman, um, I guess every year, Dana always um, tells us that we have to email our professors, I think two weeks before classes start. And she said, you just, you really want to make that initial first contact. And I didn't realize until I met with my professors and talked to them and explained I'm a student athlete, there will be times where I'm not going to be able to be in class, but I'll work with you. Um, and she just, she really stressed that aspect of it. And I think that kind of just got ingrained in me that you have to communicate. And um, I've become a much better communicator because of it. And I think that that's why I was able to be so successful is I wasn't afraid to talk to my professors. Um, and Scholastica has a great environment where the professors are really open to having those types of discussions. Um, so I think that was really, really helpful to me as well, that they were understanding, but I had to put forth the effort as well. Um, and again, it, it also goes back to time management. You know, there's nights where you just want to lay down and watch TV for three hours straight, but that's not possible because you have a test tomorrow or you're leaving for a match. Um, so it just really helped me plan my schedule out and realize when I could take breaks and when you know you really have to keep going and you have to finish your homework before you can go have fun with friends. Um, so it was, I think it was different than a normal college experience, but it's something that I really wouldn't trade for anything. Dive into everything. Um, Beyond being a two-sport athlete and um, having a really strong passion for the academic piece, I tried anything that I wanted to try. Um, I think college is a great opportunity to join a club that you never thought you were going to be interested in um, or apply for something that you think you might not get into because who knows, you might. Um, and I think don't limit yourself to just being an athlete. Allow yourself to be a good athlete, but also allow yourself to be so much more than that. Wow, um, I actually had my mind set on medical school and it's definitely still an option, but because Scholastica is what it is, um, I ended up double majoring in biology and psychology. And I came in actually wanting to be a geneticist. Um, and then the medical school idea kind of crept in and it was like, yeah, that's what I really wanna do. Um, but as I started to take psychology classes, I realized how much that really was important to me. And um, I guess I don't know what I wanna do completely. Um, it's kind of between going to grad school to either be a clinical psychologist or going to medical school um, to 
be a pediatrician. Um, but I am taking a year off this year. I have a job as a scribe, um, and I'm hoping that that kind of gives me some direction as to what I want to do. And um, I think that just speaks to the fact that you don't always know. And I was dead set on what I wanted to do from day one. And college just opened so many more doors that it, it kind of flipped my ideas on, on their butt and just said, you know what, you might have to think about what you actually want to do. So I know that I have the foundation for doing either of those two things extremely well, but it's just kind of trying to figure out which one is going to be the best fit for me.